Hey guys, Shane here, Ozflight Simma. Welcome to another test drive video. Now, if you haven't seen one of these before, this is where we take a scenery, an aircraft, or a utility in all different flight simulators, and I'll take it for a spin around the blocks, give you my recommendations, is it value for money? And if that's something you're interested in, please hit the subscribe button, and let's get on with the video. In today's test drive, we are checking out a pilot's life from the team at Simboot World. A pilot's life is essentially an add-on that helps you with your virtual pilot career. If you've ever been stuck in that flight sim rut and didn't know where that next flight might take you, this add-on might be able to help you with that. So in this video, we're going to take a quick flight with a pilot's life from Brisbane all the way down to Williamstown in Australia. So we've been saying that, let's bring up a pilot's life and give you a quick run through before we begin our flight. Essentially, you start off your flying career as a junior first officer and work your way up all the way up to captain. Now, the difference between a pilot's life flying career and some of the other ones that are out in the market is you can jump straight into the airliners. This is all about a airliner career, so you don't need to fly GA to work your way up. Um, we've been saying that when you go through the settings, you get to pick on what type of aircraft you have in your sim, either X-Plane or P3D. So as you can see here, I'm a bit of a Boeing fan. Even though I fly some Airbuses, I've got all my Boeings uh, ticked. And we're going to be using the IXEG 737-300 for this flight. Once you've set up all your aircraft in a pilot's life, it's time to go shopping for a job. Now, the way that I did this, I just picked the region that I wanted to work in, which is obviously my home, Australia, and I picked the airlines that had five stars and more. That left me with um, just a couple of options, such as Qantas, uh, Virgin Australia, and also Air New Zealand. Uh, you can take a closer look at the airlines by just clicking onto them and then going to have a look at what they have in their fleet, what's going to suit you, the type of routes they have and all the different aircraft. So I'm going down the route list for Air New Zealand here and you can check out all the fleet and even an overview of all their aircraft such as Air New Zealand 787, uh, 777s, A320s and a few other ones. And when you found the airline you're happy with, you accept the offer and you can see all your flights and schedules. Here they are. Uh, as you can see, I've got a couple of flights left. Uh, this flight we are flying from Brisbane all the way down to Williamstown. Um, if you do not like a particular flight, you can skip it. You know, I think you get about five skips a month, but um, I'm going to accept this one. It should be a nice flight down to Williamstown. It would be the first time I've been there. Which then brings me to the current flight screen where I need to pick the aircraft I'll be using for the flight. Um, I'll be using the IXE G737-300, so that's a fictional um, aircraft as they're no longer um, in this service for this flight. So we're going to click OK and then we're going to connect to the sim and I'm using X-Plane 11 here and straight away it picks up the aircraft in the sim. So we're going to get the 737 ready for flight. And we're going to come back to your taxi and show you how our pilot's life is tracking the flight so far.
as we are taxiing up to a runway 19 I thought I'd show that a pilot's life is always tracking every part of your flight as you can see it is tracking my speed my altitude my longitude and my latitude and even how many nautical miles it is to go and once I'm in the air the ETA so we're going to continue keep taxiing here and then I'll come back to you uh, as we are taking off from Brisbane So we're going to come back to you at the cruise and see how the flight's going and how our pilot's life is tracking the flight. We are now about a third uh, through the flight and we're at our cruising altitude at 36,000 feet. As you can see, uh, we are being tracked on the map by Pilot's Life and also we have a status bar going along to keep you current of where your flight is at. The great thing about Pilot's Life is that it's not running uh, in the simulator so you can have it on a second screen if you have one and you can keep track of your flight uh, through Pilot's Life. So it will keep tracking the remainder of the flight. So we're going to continue on and I'll come back to you as we're landing um, at Williamstown. So we are on final into Williamstown, I think it's uh, runway 12 I believe, um, a pilot's life has been tracking us all the way so I'm going to be quiet now, please enjoy the approach into Williamstown and once we get to the gates we will bring up a pilot's life and show you how to end the flight and what happens next. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Jumping straight into the taxi, we're going to bring a pilot's life up uh, one last time. We're going to end the flight and see how many points were accrued for this particular flight into Williamstown. I guess the, the biggest thing that I like about a, a pilot's life is two things. Is One, it gets you to fly in uh, different places where you don't normally do, such as um, flying here into Williamstown. And also, it's different than some of the other career uh, management add-ons where you have to continue the career and you have to keep going back in every couple of days and do a flight to keep your career going, where a pilot's life is you can do it at your own pace um, and you're not going to be penalised uh, for doing that. 
So that's our fourth flight in this career. We've just grew just under 10 points. So we've got a little bit of way to go to our uh, captain of a 747, but um, I think we will get there. All in all, um, a pilot's life from Simbit World is a very effective and simple uh, career add-on um, when it comes to flight simulation. Uh, it's suitable for P3D and also X-Plane. And in my opinion, I think it's pretty uh, well priced, um, being about, I think it's uh, €16.75 Euro and you can find it over at the Sim Market. So yes, do I think it's value for money? Yes, I do. So with in saying that, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, it's much appreciated. And if you want to see a more weekly content of test driving different products for flight simulators, uh, please hit that subscribe button for weekly content. And thank you very much for watching. My name is Shane, Ozflight Simmer. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, goodbye.